All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call to order the commissioner's meeting uh, for Tuesday, July 30th, 2024, being 1 p.m. I'd please ask that you join me in a moment of silent reflection. If you would please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Executive session announcement. I guess I can do that on July 24th at 1.45 p.m. Um, Commissioners Kessling and Burke met with the State Operations Manager, CYF Director, and HR Director regarding two employee discipline matters. Thank you. I'll make a motion to approve the Board of Commissioners meeting minutes for 7-23-24. May I have a second? I'll second that. I don't see it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public comment. Sure. I want to say that I'm very much pleased uh, with the commissioners. I think you're doing a great job and uh, that you're not satisfied with the status quo. I really appreciate uh, the decisions that you've made and they've been big decisions. Um, I wanted to mention two things. Um, I checked in on the elections of 2020 and Blair County out of 67 counties came in 54. I have a handout I wanted to give you so you know how serious it is to have elections done on election day. If you will notice, uh, numbers 1 through 26 got the election done on election day. And if you look over to number 54, Blair County got theirs done five days after the election. Now, from people that I've talked to, they said that there was a great amount of mail-in ballots in 2020, like 17,000 that they had the hand count. I want to say that uh, there is a woman by the name of Karen Taylor who's going to be showing uh, pushback PA uh, how to hand <coughs> count paper ballots. And uh, I would say there's a need for hand counting of paper ballots uh, in Blair County. And uh, that's going to take place uh, at the Lutheran Home. Evangelical Lutheran Home, Lutheran Home, Church. Lutheran Church, I'm sorry, uh, the Lutheran Church, Pastor uh, uh, Roy Stewart is a pastor there, and we start at 6 o'clock tonight, and we're going to have Karen Taylor, who's going to show us how to hand count paper ballots, and it's going to be greatly needed for this coming election of 2024 to know how to hand count, um, and like I said, I want to praise you commissioners for doing a great job um, and I see the things that you do in the newspaper and it's newsworthy and it's great applause to you guys for doing a great job and uh, uh, a personal note uh, to uh, Pat, uh, Mr. Kessling uh, I have a friend who has a son in prison and you uh, gave your phone uh, to this mother who has a son in prison. Uh, I think that's highly commendable uh, in your 
personal uh, care uh, to people that you serve. I, I greatly appreciate that. I just need clarification on that, Randy. That's uh, when you said I gave well, my phone his, to this well, person. Well, it was not the personal phone number. Of course, it would be the office. Okay. But she was uh, the mother was pleased uh, that you allowed her to uh, give her grievance, so to speak, right. and uh, and that it was addressed promptly. I, I, okay. I applaud that that uh, you're serving the people, and uh, that's great to see. So once again, this hand counting uh, procedure is going to be uh, given at the Evangelical Luther Church on top of Frankstown Mountain at 6 o'clock. It's free of charge. All are welcome. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Any other public comment? Commissioner's comment. I wanted to extend congratulations to the <clears throat> Hollisburg Area Summer Baseball League's 10U team for winning the Pennsylvania State Championship this weekend. Um, they are moving on to play in the regionals in Rhode Island. I do not have a comment today. Thank you. Okay. I'll go through the consent agenda as outlined in your agenda. Um, under item A, payment of the following three warrant lists is outlined. Uh, item B, ratification of the following five warrant lists um, as outlined in the agenda. Uh, C, ratification of total payroll, checks 72624 in the total uh, amount of $863,217.08. Budget transfers in item D and E. Uh, item F, children and youth families requesting ratification approval of the use of the courthouse courtyard on July 30th, 2024 from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. to raise awareness for the Human Anti-Trafficking Response Team, HART, resignations, employments, and status change as outlined in your document. I make a motion to approve the consent agenda. May I'll I have a second? I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. I am an aye with an abstention of the payment to the borough of Hollingsburg from um, the, one of the ratifications. Staff reports and special business. Uh, Warden Tate. <coughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm requesting the approval of the, the amended business associate agreement and qualified service organization agreement dated July 8, 2024, <clears throat> between the County of Blair on behalf of the Blair County Prison and Prime Care <coughs> Incorporated. Um, my understanding is this has little effect on us and is more effect on them. Um, it just outlines uh, how we can share information, how we can, how I can receive information from them. Um, but it's, it's, it's really no change to what we currently do. I'll make a motion to approve the amended business associated agreement and services uh, with the County of Blair and Prime Care Medical. May I have a second? I'll second that. A um, couple comments and questions, yes. I guess, I have for you, Abby, because I'm a little. Um, is there a cost to this no, to the sir. county? Okay. Um, I think there were some changes on <coughs> that they needed to make on their end. Um, and when I reviewed it and, and asked the questions that I had, the answer was it, it's not going it, to, it has to do with HIPAA and how we share information back and forth, um, but it's not going to affect how I'm able to receive information that I can pass on, <coughs> excuse me, to law enforcement or um, anyone else who may request it. This is on the computer. Yes, sir. All right. Any other comments or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Our second uh, request is approval for uh, the agreement for purchase under bidding threshold between the County of Blair on behalf of the Blair County Prison and Air Management Incorporated to provide services including but not limited to HVAC equipment repairs set forth in the County approved purchase orders. 
um, fire management is the only company that we have found that is willing to even look at our air handler unit, let alone work on it. Um, <clears throat> they have done some repairs for us throughout the summer, um, and we recently did a service contract or a maintenance contract with them to come once a month and make sure that the air handlers that are running are running properly. Um, but we do have some equipment that needs repairs uh, on those units, so that's what this would be for. I'll make a motion to approve the agreement to the professional between the County of Blair and the Air Management Inc. to provide service to the HVAC equipment. May I have a second? I'll second that. Uh, just a, a, some comments. Yes, um, so everyone else is aware this is one of the things that we as a county um, have to deal with almost daily. Uh, these are units, as my understanding, that were purchased used mm -hmm. from yes. the mall in 1984. Um, so if we've talked about repairs on these units, the, the, several of these units this year once, it's probably been three or four times and they're still ongoing, is that correct? Yes. Okay. We also have two other separate units. So um, I block, our work release block that faces directly across from the parking garage is on its own separate rooftop unit, which is currently in need of replacing and we're waiting for a quote for that. And the newest part of uh, K block, the newest part of the jail is on its own separate unit. So this air handler takes care of the rest of the building, excluding those two areas. Any other further comments or questions? We got to do it because we've got August and September coming up, and yes, it's going to be hot. You know. Yeah, it's a it's a daily battle for us to keep them running and and the way they kind of should be running. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Yes, sir. Children and youth families, indeed. Hello. Hello. All right. Today we're requesting approval of fiscal year 24-25 agreement for payment of legal services as court-appointed additional counsel between the County of Blair, Blair County Children, Youth, and Families, and Mark Zierfoss, Esquire, at the rate of 85 an hour. Uh, may I have a motion to approve the agreement of legal services as court appointed counsel uh, between the County of Blair and Mark Zierfoss, Esquire, uh, at the rate of $85 per hour? So moved. I'll second the motion. Hey, this You had this before us before, right? In yeah. The, and we had he was trying to get $100, remember? Okay. So there. he agreed to the 85 <laughs> All right. Any comments or questions? <clears throat> Just thank you for going back and yeah. working on that yeah. further. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, we, we're trying to be consistent with all of our Absolutely. folks. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then the second one, we're requesting approval of amendment number one to the 2024 agreement between the County of Blair, Blair County Children, Youth, and Families, and Computer Aid, Inc. to amend the language and the training requirements section. All other terms and conditions of the existing agreement remain the same. I may have approval to uh, with the agreement between Blair County Children and Youth and Computer Aid Inc. to amend the language of the training requirements. Um, so, motion to approve. I'll second the motion. Any comments or questions of Mindy? Thank you. Thanks. All, all, of, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Sorry, I missed something. <laughs> Public Works. I'm going to be Paul today. He had to. Uh, he had to leave. Um, on behalf of the Public Works <coughs> Department, uh, Highways, we are requesting approval of a permit, um, GP11 form, which has been prepared by Keller Engineers for Bridge Number 81, which is on Township Road 364, Chapel Road in Juniata Township. This is as a result of PennDOT's request and suggestion that we redirect um, the funds that we had allocated for this project to a study to be conducted by an independent engineer to determine the options and make recommendations as to how uh, we should proceed 
with regard to this particular bridge, which is um, in need of either repair, replacement, or elimination. And so the engineers will, not our engineers, not PennDOT engineers, PennDOT will select someone independent who will analyze this bridge and tell us uh, what their recommendations would be. So I'm just asking for approval for us to um, sign the permit and move forward. We can make a motion to approve the general permit application prepared by Keller Engineers for Bridge 81 on Township Road 364 in Juniata Township. And may I have a second? Um, second. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, do you want to take the item? Uh, oh, that's right. I'm, <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing this one too. Um, <coughs> bridge 73, Bridge 73, the Jugtown Road Bridge. We have, um, we had conducted a couple of public meetings last fall with the residents of the township to um, discuss the condition of the Jugtown Road, Road Bridge and um, get their thoughts. Uh, we also recently, within the last two months, I met with each of the township supervisors individually um, to get their thoughts on um, Jugtown Road Bridge and the uh, similar to Bridge 81, there are only a couple of options. One is to continue to repair it, but Bridge 71, we make repairs, but they, they do not really fix the problem, so we're constantly repairing it. Um, the other, another possibility would be to replace it with another bridge, which of course would be quite different. Um, we kind of joke this is Commissioner Burke's favorite bridge because it has a little sidewalk and it's a one-lane bridge, which is pretty cool and pretty quaint. Um, unfortunately, it can't quite deal with the traffic that we have today. So a new bridge would not have a, pass, uh, a place for people to walk, and it would not be only one um, lane wide. It would be a regular bridge. Um, and it would be quite costly to... Um, to uh, install a, a new bridge there. The third um, possibility that we had been given by the engineers was to remove the bridge. Um, the one end of it is right along um, County Road 101, so there's not really, it's only maybe, I don't know, eight, eight feet between the edge of the road and, and the bank of the river, so there's no, no buildings or structures of any kind along there. But on the other side of the bridge there, um, it, uh, I don't know how many feet, but there are, there are a couple of houses, but there is a large area where a cul-de-sac could be installed that would allow people to turn around and, and to then use um, the other roadway, the other, me the other means of, of uh, leaving that particular neighborhood to get um, to wherever, to, to the Sheets in East Freedom, to go to Martins, or to Roaring Spring of Martinsburg, or to come back around and get on to uh, County Road 101. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, because of the costs involved, the, the preferred recommendation from the engineers was to uh, remove the bridge and install a cul-de-sac. Um, I understand that that is not popular with the folks in the neighborhood. We understand that and we understand that um, there are issues that they have with town, the Township Road, which is called Mountain Road, um, but the road is not owned by the county, so that's not something that we can address. We just own the bridge on the, the Township Road. and. Um, it has reached the end of its useful life, and 
Um, based on the recommendation from the engineers, I would propose that we um, follow that recommendation, remove the bridge, and install a cul-de-sac. So that's the information that I have. So are you, you are then looking for the approval to do that today? Yes, I would make a motion that, that we do that. So as I understand it, the motion would be to remove the existing bridge 73 and not replace that bridge but install a cul-de-sac in that area. That is correct. I'm sorry, I should have put that sure. motion forward. Uh, for discussion purposes, I'll make a motion to approve the removal of bridge 73 for a cul-de-sac. May I have a second? Amy motioned and you're the second. I'm second. Thank you second, yeah. clarify. So, Lindsay, I hate to put you on the spot. So, the funding, as I understand it, for the bridge replacement is funded not from the general fund. Is that accurate? Okay. So, when we're looking at a bridge like this and many others, if we do you, do you know, or, and I guess the question is to you uh, that I don't know at this point in time is that the bridges that we maintain annually, does that money come out of our general fund? We have the highway department that um, performs the work in caring for the bridges, maintaining them. We have inspections of the bridges. We do required maintenance to the bridges. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea what the highway department costs us, actually. I've never, I, I shouldn't say there, I, I do the budget every year, but it's all part of another, so it's. I look at it all combined together, not as a separate, separate um, unit. Do do we capture those costs? Yeah, no. yeah. For maintenance and repair, upkeep. Further discuss. Well, you can further discuss. Yeah, okay. That's what we're supposed to be Motion. doing. I mean, can we... Can I ask a question about that? So I think this was on the MPO's tip. The Bridge 73 funds were coming from the tip. So if the decision is not to replace the bridge, is that money available to use for the cul-de-sac project, or does that money go away, if you know? I don't know if you know the answer to that. I believe... Oh, okay. Um, I am not certain either, but I believe that what we would do is go through the same procedure that we just are doing with um, um, Bridge 81, where we ask to assign those funds to a different project. Um, that's what we've discussed in engineering meetings. Um, <clears throat> we have, as you know, many bridges. <laughs> They're very expensive. Um, and we do receive funding to help us with that. Um, but we have, we can only address so many at a time, and um, fortunately we have received significant help from PennDOT in the last couple of years. They have replaced a couple of our county bridges for us, um, Bridge 70 last year, and I can't remember the numbers, but over the last couple of years there have been a couple of those. Um, but I keep in mind these are still taxpayer funds 
that are paid to PennDOT that we we see we receive back and we then use for these various projects. Um, <clears throat> so we use them for whichever bridges we need to use them at that particular time, whichever ones need to be fixed, replaced, removed, whatever. It's all taxpayer money. It is, it is all taxpayer money. Um, based on there's still some questions, I think I would like to amend the motion to table this for further discussion until the next commissioner's meeting. I didn't make. Oh yeah, did I make the motion? No, I didn't make the motion. I yes, know. I did. Yes, I did. Okay. So you want to table it? I would like to amend it just to for further discussion because there's still some funding that I need. I would like to know more about. I think there's, you know, to clarify with um, if if the money is moved, is it is it still available? Is it can it go to the call to sack? Those sort of things that I, I'm not sure that we <coughs> do know the answers to that at the moment. That's so. fine. We can move it to next meeting. Okay, so I'll make a motion to amend and move it uh, for further discussion to the next meeting. May I have a second? A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, discussion for formation of Blair County Trail and Recreation Authority. Um, the, the commissioners, like most of the decisions that we make, just like the bridges, that it's very complicated because we have, I think, 70 bridges uh, that the county is responsible for, um, and as uh, Commissioner Webster had said, stated, it's taxpayer money regardless, um, and we're trying to be mindful of that. Um, with that being said, uh, we earlier in this year we've had a discussion, um, open discussion on trails, which we had the largest attendance um, that we've ever had at a meeting. And this um, continues to be a discussion from um, the community as to where we are um, and we continue to have discussions with it and we think we believe we found a path forward um, that would uh, would not in the impact the taxpayers um, we would be looking to use ARPA funding uh, for a couple of years that we would be able to do this and then um, that then leads us into an avenue where we could use um, bed tax funds to further uh, the authority on. Uh, that would buy us some time as a county to get an authority established and running to meet the needs um, that we see it at this point and what are being pointed out to us uh, for those people asking for this. Um, and it also gives us the, the ability to, after two or three years, um, to determine and to see whether or not this is something that is um, bearing fruit, so to speak, or is being helpful. Um, so based on that, I would like to make a motion um, to form uh, the Blair County Trail and Recreation Authority. Um, may I have a second? I'll second for the discussion purposes. All those in favor? Aye. I think we need to discuss for discussion. Have discussion. Discussion first. Okay. I'm rushing. I don't care. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, we've talked about this, and we have some some grand plans. Um, my only hesitation in just creating something at this point is we don't have any kind of a management agreement or directives as to what the authority would be doing. I, I read the municipal authorities <coughs> document that um, Commissioner Burke had obtained for us. Thank you very much. That was very, very helpful. And it's um, fascinating. And there are a lot of things that we can do, a lot of things we cannot do. And I think that I want to know what we exactly what we want to allow this authority to do, where, what restrictions we want to put on this authority. Because if we don't outline things in particular, things automatically can happen and we then lose control. So I, I, although I've been supportive all along about the um, whole idea of a, of a trail and recreation authority and 
pulling all these things together so that everything's going in the same direction. I, I would hesitate to actually create something until we have an outline of what exactly we're doing. Um, <clears throat> so I, I agree with, I think, kind of where Commissioner Webster is going. I think that all three of us support um, forming the entity ultimately, but that a, a lot of discussion needs to go into the details of that. And I believe, um, you know, for further specific action on an agenda, I think um, there are existing studies currently out there, um, the Allegheny Outdoors study that just um, was finished earlier this year and the Greenways and Open Spaces Plan, um, both for Southern Allegheny's Planning and Development Commission, um, which support, um, you know, the need for um, long-term stewardship of the trails. Um, it's clear that, um, you know, our surrounding counties are doing a lot in this area that we are a little bit behind and, and I think we all have a desire to catch up Mm -hmm. um, with them and to work with them in making sure um, that we have, you know, the trail networks um, going through our county and that our our residents and businesses are receiving the benefit of that. Um, I think, um, you know, we obviously had our, our prior public meeting where we had a, a resounding, um, you know, call from the community and different um, different trails, mm -hmm. you know, different variety of use, uses for the trails um, all um, echoed that. Um, and it's um, clear we need kind of one countywide organization to drive um, those projects and coordinate things and coordinate, you know, obtaining grants and getting things moving. Um, so I think, you know, definitely I'm supportive. I think um, short of like technically forming um, an entity today, I think we should um, perhaps you know, have a resolution to um, move forward um, with the solicitor's help in, in figuring out what, um, you know, what the terms and, and, and everything of that would be. I mean, I do think in some sense municipal authorities, no matter how you um, define them by definition, we would be giving up some control. So the you know, the alternative to that is having a county department to do it, but I don't see us being able to support that at this point. So I think the authority is the next best um, thing that we can do. And obviously the commissioners retain the ability to appoint the board members um, to those authorities. And that with our existing author authorities, that is our method of control. And that has always been what I was taught was kind of our sole, um, sole guarantee aside from uh, potentially funding. Um, so, Yes, that's, those are my thoughts. A lot goes into this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, and I, I guess, forgive me for, um, if we were to make or create an authority or to pass a motion for an authority, I, I understand that we don't have all those things, but that would give us the ability to then get into that discussion. If we do, I think, have the right to and I think it is, I agree with you that we need to have clear direction if an authority is created to specifically outline um, what that authority is. And uh, I say that because we deal with current authorities that um, we may not as a county agree with the direction and so we, we have to deal with that because it has been created. Um, so understanding that um, we would do that, um, you know, I was, I guess I was under the understanding if we could just, if we would agree to do it, form it, then we could have the discussions and create an outline what, what specifically they were uh, to do and not to do. Um, so I don't know if that, or do we have to do that? I guess I'm asking the other board members. Is that something that we have to do specifically outline um, what that is before we would create uh, an authority? I think we would because if, if we don't have an, a framework within which we're going to work, then we've got something created that has powers but doesn't isn't really real i i know that's kind of i know that makes no sense i'm sorry i don't really know how to explain it um 
but from reading the, the information regarding authorities, it's, it seems that upon creation that there, there is an entity that exists, and I hate to just create that entity without having having the framework that, that we would. And I think that um, if we, there might be a way of approving something today that would allow us to at least um, consult with the solicitor, or talk about you know, how we want to we want to form this, create it, how many members, you know, all those different details that are very important. To, you know. um, I can only, and I don't know what went before um, the creation of the Convention Center Authority. I do know that um, there is an ordinance, and I was looking for our ordinance books yesterday and was having trouble locating them, but um, it was done by ordinance and obviously there's a public mm -hmm. hearing process that has to happen but that set forth like who the initial members were and what the scope was which i think the scope and who are the members are the main you know items of concern but there's you know additional things that need to happen so the entity is created articles of incorporation have to be filed mm -hmm. if we're doing that obviously those are actions we would approve on um, in a public meeting um, but i think in terms of um, the details of what is contained in those documents. I'm not sure what their process was, whether they did that, like in individual discussion with solicitors, if there's, um, you know, I'm not sure what that process was. I know that um, the statute requires that 30 days before we actually create, at least 30 days, we have to have a we, public, we have to notify, put the uh, notice probably in the newspaper that we're, we're going to do this on whatever date 30 days from now so we haven't done that part yet um, and so that kind of impedes us from doing a whole lot today but um, I, I would think that I don't know, you know can, we can make a motion to uh, have discussion about it I, we've, we can already always have discussion I think um, <clears throat> but I think we need some guidance from our solicitor a little bit, too. I think this was like the uh, same uh, discussion that we had regarding Bridge 73. So I'm willing to make uh, amend the motion um, to table it for further discussion and uh, not only amongst ourselves, but with the solicitor, too, moving forward. I think both of you brought up um, good uh, reasons uh, to do that. Um, it's it's clear, as we said here, all three commissioners are in favor of it, um, but ensuring that we do it uh, in the manner that we are, I have no problem with that. So I, I will make a motion to amend. I'll make a I'll amend the motion uh, to table this for further discussion. May I have a second? Well, maybe we want to just authorize that we can um, uh, advertise. And move forward with the notice. Do you want to do something like that? And then that way we won't have to come back to another meeting to authorize the advertisement. So it doesn't mean we have to advertise it tomorrow or the next day, um, but but that would at least we would have that part preliminarily approved. Um, it might help us and keep us on track. Help us uh, stay on task with that. But but. Um, Bring it around to bring it up to that day. I don't know. It's just a thought, right? However you want to, you're making the motion. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, I think that um, we, well, I, I think we can probably just wait and maybe keep it on the agenda for discussion and we can give updates on where we are in the process if that would make sense because I just don't want to yeah we could we behind. could say yes we're going to advertise but I think we need a, an idea of, of what the timeline will be before we can do that so there are some particulars there um, and I think you know we do meet every week so that's true Okay, so we're sticking with, I'll uh, amend the motion to table uh, this particular subject, the Blair County Trail and Recreation Authority, for further discussion. May I have a second? Did I second the original one? I can't remember. Uh, if you didn't, you didn't. All those in favor? <laughs> aye. 
Okay. Old business. Colonel Dunkel. Good afternoon. I'm here today to gain the approval of the county commissioners to allow the court to apply for a grant from the Administrative Office of Pennsylvania Courts. The grant would be for $25,000, which would be used at the district magistrate's offices to install alarms. I'm not going to talk about the courthouse this time. <laughs> So this, again, is just being able to apply for the grant. Uh, I've spoken to them, I've socialized the concept, and they are very good with it. And that's exactly what they want that money to be used for. So each year, it's, it goes between the courthouse and the magistrate's office. And it's usually for 20, but we squeeze them to get five more. Good job. <laughs> I didn't talk about a bridge or trail. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve uh, to submit the application from the AOPC security grant to be used towards installation of a duress alarm system at the magistrate district judge's office in the amount of $25,000. May I have a second? I'll second that. So I brought this up before. I just want to make sure that people understand and, and make sure that I'm correct. Currently, and prior to this, there have been no duress alarms at the MTJ offices. Is that correct? No, there were, but okay. they're not functional. Not functional. They were put in by Betway. And um, we found that to, if we went that course of action, it's the standalone system. So I'm going to talk about the courthouse. If we go with the path that we're on, it'll be the same system that is currently in this building that's going to be upgraded. And all of them will be tied to the 9-11 Center and also the sheriff um, radio network 24-7. So it, it's an inclusive system for the county. And when an alarm is, when there's a dress alarm that's activated, it would go to, obviously with the 911 center, it would go to the local police department serving that area in addition to the sheriff's office here. So it would be multiple. And when necessary, entities. it would go to the Pennsylvania State Police. Like Frankstown does not have right. a police department. Uh, this obviously was on the agenda last week, and my question was because I think the whole project is more than the twenty-five thousand. So the, the question I had at the time was how the rest of it is going to be funded because I don't want to leave you without um, you know your full project. Um, so I was able to determine um, that we believe we will um, submit for the PCOMP grant, which um, is our workers' compensation carrier, since the primary primary one of the goals is protection of the employees. Um, safety of the employees, and so that they have a grant um, program um, that we will um, be seeing a um, sort of companion application for those grant funds in the future. So that yes, Commissioner answered my question. Just wanted to clarify for. I uh, last week. I will just say I apologize for saying uh, yeah. security yeah, that, when that is I meant to have <laughs> safety in there, yes. but they go together so well. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes they are the same. But then yeah. there was questions of PCOMP and PCOR. Right. And, uh, right. So there was no problem. So we just, just I just wanted to clarify that before we got too far down the road. So, yep. Any other comments or questions? Thank you, everybody, Thank you for explaining. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, commissioners. Appreciate it. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.